I'm sure many of you have uh, debit cards, credit cards, uh, through either a bank or a credit union of some sort. Uh, I happen to have a Visa card, uh, primarily debit, through uh, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. There was a while back, and I, I'm sure it's still going on at, at different outfits uh, from time to time, uh, a period where my particular credit union was considering putting a monthly charge for the use of your uh, your debit card, or I, it may have been credit card as well, but either way, uh, it would have affected me. Um, a lot of, and, and to uh, set the story straight, before then and even now, since it never went through, uh, I don't pay a dime for what I get from the, my credit union. I can log on uh, any time of day and transfer funds, transfer money from one account to another. I can uh, check the balances of, I can check my, the status of my CDs. I get a lot of services through them. Uh, and I pay for none of them. Uh, I don't use many of them, but nonetheless. They, and it, this was one that you were having a lot of the problems with uh, banking, and of course there, that, that's still going on. Uh, and they were considering putting a, a very minimal, but, but a charge um, on using your, I, I, I don't know whether it was Per use, or whether I, I believe it was a monthly fee of some sort. Uh, anyway, there was a huge outcry, and I think this this has happened to a number of different uh, different outfits over the fact that they would be charged to use their debit card or their credit card. Now, I want you to think about this. Like I said, and I'm sure every bank's different. Obviously, they are. But I was getting, and still am getting, free use of a debit card. I don't even know if I pay for the card itself. I might have to pay for a new one when it expires or if it gets wore out. But other than that, I don't pay for them to manage my money. In fact, I have multiple certificates of deposit with them some of which are fairly old and are giving me quite a rate of return. I'm making a good deal of money just by having my, my, my money in their bank. Uh, how, how ridiculous, when you think about it, is it that you give somebody else your money to watch for them to take care of it and protect it, and they pay you? Isn't that a little bit ridiculous? What would happen if you, you ask a friend, I, you ask a friend, would you would you take care of my dogs while I'm away on vacation and pay me $20 for doing it? They'd say, whoa, 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 hold on. First off, why am I paying you to take care of your dogs? And secondly, $20? I'm expecting 60 bucks, pal. But the banks, at least mine, they don't do that. They don't charge me a penny. I don't think there's anything deducted from every swipe I make. I mean, the the uh, usually the business that you use the card app pays that, and that's a whole other story. But anyway, the, the gist of, of what I want to say is, when you think about it, the fact that the banks are providing you, or the, your credit union is providing you with money magi managing, they keep your money for you. They keep it safe. They even give you a, an interest rate on just leaving it with them. They're rewarding you for using their services. When you think about it, how do they make money? Well, through making loans. That's part of the process. They use your part of your money, which is pooled together, to make loans. And they reward you for leaving your money in there because that makes it easier for them to make loans, which is the primary way in which they make money. So, isn't it amazing that they provide this service for free? And if they should fall on hard times, as many have, 
is it at all unreasonable for them to ask that you pay a small amount to take advantage of these wonderful services that they provide? Just asking. 